Welcome, guys, to an episode, the very first episode of Tie on the Record. And, of course, we're going to be discussing uh, some vinyl. And more specifically, we're going to be discussing a band out of Las Vegas, one of my favorite bands of all time. We're talking about their second record in their discography. We're talking about The Killers. And we are more specifically talking about Samstown, but we're talking about the 10th anniversary edition Right there, 10th anniversary edition of Samstown, 2006. Uh, it's hard to believe it's been 10 years ago. Um, seems like just yesterday, uh, the killers were in their infancy and trying to follow up the juggernaut that was Hot Fuss. And uh, Samstown, for some people it did it, for some people it didn't. It is a very different record. It's one reason I respect the killers a ton is because Every record they have is different. Battleborn compared to Hot Fuss, they're a completely different band than one, what they once were, um, sound-wise. Um, but let's stick to Sam's Town itself. Now this is, like I said before, the 10th anniversary edition pressing of their second LP. Uh, this is done by Bong Load Custom Records. This is the only thing I have by them. Um, but they've been around quite some time. They're actually celebrating their 25th anniversary. Um, so they've been pressing records a long time. Now, I picked this up simply because it is kind of limited. And I didn't want to be without it. I mean, it's only been out like a week or two. Um, and I saw it on the shelf at, at Zia. And I didn't want to be without because it is a limited pressing. Yes, they will probably just repress it like everything else. But um, regardless, I have number... 2,747 out of 5,016. That is the run that they did for this, 5,016. Don't ask me why. Um, but the pressing itself is immaculate. Um, it's hardcover book, very much like a children's like picture book style. Heavy spine right here. Um, alternate cover than the original. Um, Got the band on the back, very minimalist here. No track listing on, on the back, very, very cool. Um, spine, got Killers, Samstown, uh, 10th anniversary edition there, and then you have the label right there. So very minimal, but very heavy duty, very cool. Now on the inside, flip it open, you have the original cover, uh, the regular cover. Then you have the LPs here. It is two LP, 180 gram. They're just black. I will show you the records though, because they do come with a cool, um, they do come with a very cool um, label, custom label. Um, then you have the track listing here and the band as well. Um, so very, very cool. Now, as far as the records go, uh, again, it is just black. So nothing too special. But I'll show you the labels. Um, very minimalist, but you have the the record label logo, though. Bong Lude, Custom Records, The Killers, Sam's Town. Um, it's a very, very cool there. Just pretty basic. Um, now, as far as the sound goes, it's a decent sounding record. It's much better than the picture disc that's commonly out there. Um, obviously, it's a picture disc. The sound is not great. Um, so it's very, it's not disappointing, but to be honest with you, the mix on Sam's Town is not my favorite anyway. I don't think the mix is very good, uh, no matter what I listen to it on, whether it be Spotify, whether it be CD, um, whether it be iTunes, whether it be vinyl, the, the mix just itself is not that good to me. It, there's too much bass. Brandon's vocals aren't high enough in the mix that I would like. To me, Battleborn is like the perfect mix uh, for a Killers record. They nailed the production on that record. Um, but it still holds up, for sure. You're paying for the packaging here. And again, it is pretty expensive. It's 40 bucks. That's all you're paying for. If you're a Killers fan, you're paying for the packaging. You're paying for the presentation of this. Um... Now, this is kind of a godsend, though, because it's very cool to have something that is not in a picture disc form. So that's very nice. And it's just like how they just did the Hot Fuss repressing. 
Obviously, that record is so expensive if you want the OG, so it's a godsend that they finally repress that, um, which I don't have yet, but I'm ordering shortly. Um, but I saw this and had to have it simply because it is limited, and I'm like, you know what? I need to get get it need something else besides the picture disc. Now, it is 45 RPM, so if you do pick it up, make sure you switch over to 45. Um, another added benefit of having this is it does come with a few bonus tracks on side four. Um, Peace of Mind is a track that they recorded during the Samstown sessions and never released. So that is very cool. It is a very cool song, very good. Um, then you have a mix of Read My Mind. Um, that's a pretty cool remix of that song. So that is an added perk. Peace of Mind itself is, is worth it. It's a cool track. Um, this whole record is good though, man. In hindsight, it's... It's great. I mean, Killers, if you ask me, they do not have a bad record for sure. Um, but this record is very good, especially in hindsight when you re-listen to it. Sam's Town, When You Were Young, uh, Bling, Confession of a King. The, all three of those tracks are excellent. That's all side one. Those are great songs. When You Were Young is obviously the big single off this record. Um, but for reasons unknown, that's easily a, a top five killer song for me. Um, Read My Mind is a badass song. Uncle Johnny is great. They actually played that live when I saw him back in, uh, back in March. So that was very, very cool. Um, just a cool record and a cool pressing. Um, if you see it and you're a Killers fan, I recommend pick it up if you want to drop the money. I mean, the, the packaging itself is so cool. The only downside of it, though, it is big. Um, it's like... It's definitely bigger than a regular 12 inch. Uh, I think it's like an inch and a half taller. And there's no way you're getting a sleeve on this. Not that you would, I guess, need to because it is sturdy. But um, yeah, you, it, it stands out next to the rest of your, you know, collection. So that is a, a downside if you're anal about that type of stuff. You're putting stuff away. Also came with a sticker. Stickers are always cool. Extra swag. But anyway, guys, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, a like, whatever. Um, check me out on Twitter. I'll have that link down below. Subscribe for more videos. I'm going to try to do these fairly regularly. We'll be picking stuff out of my collection, um, showing recent pickups, doing show reviews, uh, just showing swag that I have, signed stuff, you know, just rando music-related things, mostly related to vinyl. Um, but anyway, guys, I uh, appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.